In this episode, we're gonna talk about something called an array inside PHP. And for this episode, we're just gonna really briefly get into a little bit about the arrays and how we actually create them and how we can echo out each individual array or like data inside the array. So for the last episode, when we talked about loops, we really briefly talked about arrays. And this is actually the same array as we used as an example for the last episode when we talked about the for each loop. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the same one as an example for this episode. Now, the way we create arrays, or at least the purpose of arrays, is to store a lot of data in a single variable. Now, you could essentially say, well, okay, if we want to store five pieces of data, I could create a variable that I can say, you know, I can call it data one is equal to, and then I can take, you know, a string like Daniel up here, and I can save it. And then I can copy this one and just create a couple of other ones underneath here. We can actually call this one two, three, four. And then again, we can just change the names in here. But now doing it this way is gonna get quite annoying when you do actually want to, you know, have a lot of data going on at once. So instead of having each of these variable created, we can actually create a very short piece of code which simply does the whole thing for us without having to create all these variables down here. So the basic idea behind arrays is simply to write shorter code and to use these in a little bit, you know, easier way that we can by using a lot of variables. So now that we have an array up here, which by the way is written out by simply writing array, you know, parentheses, and then putting the data in here, separated by a comma, you can use strings, you can use integers, you can do, you know, use a lot of different types of data. Now, if I do actually want to write something out on the screen from this array, we can actually go ahead and say echo the name of our variable, which has the array in it. And then I can actually go ahead and add curly bracket, no, sorry, not curly brackets, uh, just regular brackets. And inside these brackets, we can write from zero till however many pieces of data we might have inside the array. Remember, we do actually start at zero when we count. So zero would be Daniel in this case, one would be Jane and so on and so on and so on. So if I actually echo out array zero, go to my browser, you guys will see we get Daniel. If I say two, we should probably get Jacob, which in this case, we do. So when we talk about arrays, there's a lot of different things we can do with arrays, and it can actually get really, really, really complicated. You know, you can actually have an empty array and you can start putting data into the array by simply assigning it underneath here. There's really a lot of stuff we can do with arrays, and there's actually a lot of different types of arrays we have something called associative arrays. We have something called multidimensional arrays. We have a lot of different types of arrays out there. Now for this episode, we're just gonna focus on talking about you know, regular arrays, but in the future, we're gonna get into the multidimensional and associative arrays and that sort of thing. For this episode, we're just gonna go ahead and end it here and I'll see you guys next time.